Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, lesson 10-2, Least Common Multiples. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Samuel Johnson, courtesy of Robbie, who found this quote for us. Samuel Johnson said, what we hope ever to do with ease, we must first learn to do with diligence, meaning hard work will always make things come easier to us. Our learning goal tonight is to use the make a cake strategy, again, another way to use the cake to find the least common multiple of two denominators. Uh, Samuel Johnson actually wrote the Dictionary of the English Language. He published it in 1775, so you can see he was right around the time that um, America declared independence. But he was a Tory and he lived in England. Our individual lesson learning goals are to use the make a cake strategy to find the least common multiple, or LCM as we'll be identifying it, of two denominators. Here's our vocabulary. Common multiple, it's a number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. Remember, multiple is more. Factors are fewer, it's the same as a number and fewer, and multiple is the same as a number and greater. So anytime you would multiply, uh, like the number eight, eight could be multiplied by one, and then you have the multiple of eight. Eight times two is 16, and 16 is a multiple of eight. Eight times three is 24, 24 is a multiple of eight. So um, a common multiple is one that two numbers share. The least common multiple is the least or the smallest common multiple of two or more numbers. And there's Samuel Johnson where he went to college right there in London or England, actually. I don't know where it was. Um, here is Samuel Johnson and his diary. He was a man of letters, one of the most distinguished man of letters in all of history according to somebody. Uh, and you can see one of the most famous biographies was actually written about him, Samuel Johnson, A Life. And here's our first example. Find the LCM of 8 and 20. Let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to use the make a cake strategy for to find the LCM. We've used it for several things. We used it to find the GCF, or the greatest common factor. And in that case, we'll show you what we would find there. But we're going to use it now for the LCM. So we're going to write the number eight, comma, because this is not a fraction, it's two different numbers, and the number 20 in the bottom layer of our cake. And then just like we do with every other cake we make, we're gonna ask ourselves what number will divide evenly into both eight and 20. And I'm gonna use the number four today. I could use the number two also, and I would get the same answer. Have a slightly different amount of layers in my cake, but I would have the same answer. So four goes into eight, two times, and four goes into 20, five times. There's our second layer. What number divides evenly into both two and five? And one is the only number. One goes into two, two times. One goes into five, five times. Now, when we were finding the greatest common factor, remember we said greatest common factor, GCF, layers baby, and we multiplied these two numbers. When we were finding, when we were simplifying a fraction, we said simplify, make a cake, look for the bride and groom. So we were looking at these two numbers on top. Of course, we had a fraction here. Now we're doing LCM, and the hint for that is in the L. LCM begins with L. So we're gonna make an upside down shape, kind of L shape. If you turn your head like this, you can see the top of the L, and there's kind of a jumpy bottom part of the L. And that reminds us to multiply all the numbers all the way around the L shape. So up the layers and across the top. So four times one is four, four times two is eight, and eight times five is 40. So the LCM is 40. And remember, I've asked you to always label that, to rewrite LCM equals 40. So that, because, um, even math teachers looking at a cake might not know what part of the cake they're looking for to find your answer. So you need to label very clearly. I like that quote by Samuel Johnson, he who does not mind his belly will hardly mind anything else, meaning you need to feed yourself, or with LCM, you need to make a cake and eat it. Now for number one, we're gonna find the LCM of six and eight. Remember, you can look back at your example if you need some help remembering what to do. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 24? Let's see how we did that. So to find the LCM of six and eight, we're gonna make a cake 
and write six and eight in the bottom layer of our cake and ask ourselves what number will divide evenly into both six and eight. They're both even numbers, so I'm gonna put two. Two goes into six three times, comma. Two goes into eight four times. Next layer. What divides evenly into both three and four? One is the only thing. One goes into three three times, and one goes into four four times. I've repeated those two things just like with simplifying, so I know that um, I'm done with my cake, but I'm not done finding my LCM. So I'll draw my L around all of those numbers and multiply them all together. Two times one is two, two times three is six, and six times four is 24. So my LCM equals 24. Number two, find the LCM of 12 and 16. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 48? Let's see how we did that one. I picked 12 and 16 because they're kind of big numbers and they might sound intimidating, but we're gonna put them in the bottom layer of our cake and see how tricky they are. What number will divide evenly into both 12 and 16? I can think of several, but I'm gonna try two because they're both even numbers and anytime they're both even numbers, two is going to work. Two goes into 12 six times, Two goes into 16, eight times. And what goes into both six and eight evenly? Two again. Two goes into six three times. Two goes into eight four times. And what goes into three and four evenly? One. One goes into three three times, and one goes into four four times. Now, we've made our cake, but we've got to make our L for LCM and multiply all the way around. Two times two is four, four times one is four, four times three is 12, and 12 times four is 48. So the LCM of 12 and 16 is 48. Number three, find the LCM of three and five. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 15? Let's see how we did that. So we will put our three and our five in the bottom layer of our cake. What number will divide evenly into both three and five? Mm, this isn't a trick question. You're right. There's only one number and it's one. One goes into three, three times. One goes into five, five times. We have already repeated those two numbers. So we're gonna make our L right here and multiply all the numbers in our L together. One times three is three and three times five is 15. So the LCM of three and five equals 15. I wanted you to make sure that you saw one, a problem like that because they can be a little tricky if you're not used to them. It's time to challenge yourself. Mrs. Gooding is buying hot dogs and buns for the class. Hot dogs come in packages of eight, and buns come in packages of 10. What is the smallest number of hot dogs and buns she can buy to have the same number of each? Show your work and explain your answer in your flip journal and come back tomorrow ready to check your answer. Have fun with this one. Finishing up, there are some cakes to remind you to make a cake. Review your learning goals. Are you at a level one, you're still struggling, a two, you've almost got it, or a three, you've got it down pat. Write down any questions you might still have and make more cake. You've completed lesson 10-2, least common multiples. Fantastic, I will see you tomorrow.